Hey guys, uh, today we're starting our new unit dealing with quadratic equations. So first we're going to walk through what the standard form of these equations is like. Um, we're going to get to graphing them and what they look like and how to solve them and really some real life problems because we'll actually see these a bunch. So the first thing we want to notice is the standard form. We're going to see several different forms throughout this unit, but we're going to start with the standard form. And our standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So you'll see that this is different from our linear equations because I have this exponent here. I've got an x squared term. So how I know that this is in standard form is you see I have my largest exponent first since that two is the biggest and then I get smaller and smaller and then my letters just correspond with that. So a is first, b is second, and then c. So when I graph this thing, it's a u-shaped curve that's called a parabola. And we'll look at several of these in just a few minutes. So we can have several different types. So you can use your graphing calculator or Desmos, and we're gonna sketch these kind of examples. And I'll explain a couple of things to you. So when I graph this, I see that it ends up looking something like this. Okay, and my graph and my curve just continue up in both directions. So if A, remember A is that value in front of my x squared, if A is positive, then the parabola opens up. So it's a smile. So if that's positive, it opens up. And if we see on this one, when we graph that one using Desmos or our graphing calculators, it looks something like this. And I see that that A value is negative in very front. So that tells me that it's going to be negative and that it opens down, okay? So those are really two that we're gonna be looking at and we can always tell that based on that A value. So now we're gonna be looking at the axis of symmetry. So remember that symmetry, move this over here. Um, if it's symmetrical, that means I can kind of fold it and have that mirror reflection. So that's really what I'm looking at here. So for a parabola, the axis of symmetry is the vertical line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. Ooh, I don't know what just happens there. Okay. Ooh, it's being mad for me. So you can see up in our examples above that that is that dotted line, that that's our axis of symmetry because if I was to fold it along those, I would end up with a mirror image. So I have a formula for this axis of symmetry and this is really kind of big and important that you do know this. So my formula is going to be x equals, and it's always gonna be an x equals line because it's always gonna be going up and down. So x equals negative b over 2a. So it's really important that you put your equation in standard form first, then you can find these values pretty easily. So the vertex, let's look at the vertex. So the vertex is the turning point. I'm gonna use a different color. It's where it, it's kind of either the highest point or the lowest point. So up here, you'll see that here, my parabola turns direction and here it turns point direction. Those two points are called the vertex. So when that vertex is the lowest point, so if my curve starts up and goes down and then continues back up, that's called a minimum. And if it's the highest point, it's called a maximum. It's either the highest or the lowest value that you can have in that equation and in that graph. Okay, so let's look at it a couple examples and then I will post the rest of the examples for you to kind of just work through and make sure you're doing it right. So find the axis of symmetry and the vertex, then sketch each parabola, okay? So to find the axis of symmetry, remember I know that the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. Well here, my equation's in standard form, right? I've got my biggest exponent going smaller. So I have a negative b, which is at 8 over 2, and my a value is 1. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 4. Well, so now, how do we figure out how to find the vertex? Well, if I was to look at this, I know that the vertex falls on that axis of symmetry. That's just one of those properties of it. So I can take this x value that I find for the axis of symmetry and plug it back into my equation and find the y value, and that point will be my vertex. 
So here I would have, and we're always going to use our parentheses, negative 4 squared plus 8 times a negative 4 minus, whoops, minus 15. So when I do that, I've got 16 minus 32 minus 15, which gives me a y equals a negative 1. Okay, so now that I have that negative 1, I can plot this point. So my vertex is that x value of the ver axis of symmetry, and then the y value that I just found. So that point would be at negative 4, negative 1, which is right about there. And I know that my axis of symmetry goes through that point. So then I can kind of graph this curve. And I know that it's going to open up, seeing as my a value is positive. If that a value was negative, it would be opening down. Okay, so let's look at one more together. So let's look at just the second one. So again, I see I'm written in standard form, right? My largest exponent first and kind of going down. So I know to find my axis of symmetry, I have x equals negative b over 2a. So I have my b value is 10, 2, and my a value is 1. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative 5. So again, to find the vertex, I take this point from my axis of symmetry and plug it back into my equation to find the actual point of my vertex. So I've got negative 5 squared plus 10 times a negative 5 minus 23. So negative 5 times negative 5 is 25 minus 50 minus 23 gives me oh this was written wrong that's why I was like something is wrong here um I have a negative in front that didn't come up when I printed this that would be a difference okay so if this was a negative like it's supposed to be and I believe yours show that it's a negative this makes that value negative which turns my x being positive so now I have that positive oh come on eraser like this is not going to give me a good value so now it is sometimes when I convert things they don't convert very well and so we'll see these issues sometimes but that's why we stick with it because even if we're wrong one time we go back and we fix it so if I have my x of 5 so I've got that negative out front plus 10 times 5 minus 23 which gives me a negative 25 plus 50 minus 23 that looks more like it equals 2 so we're going to go ahead and just sketch that. So my vertex then is at 5 comma 2. So I know my axis of symmetry is at x equals 5. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. And my vertex is at 5, 2. I see since my a value right there is negative, it's going to open down. So then I can just sketch it going that way. So now you've got several more examples that you can work through. And you'll see that some of the numbers change. And that's fine because we're just working through the same thing. So now that you've got these examples, I want you to work through some on your own, and I will go ahead and post the answers so that you know you're doing it right. Once you get, get done with that, I want you to go ahead and work on that homework number one for me.